It is another Flipping Tables, and today we're going to look at another Kickstarter prototype game, Tales of Conflict, right here in front of Tico's face. I'm here still. Are you here? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm here. All right. Tico's here. We're going to be looking at Tales of Conflict. This is a prototype of a uh, deck builder battler game, and this is going to settle the age-old question of which pet is better, the cats or the dogs, and we all know dogs. it's the cats. No, no. It dogs, is clearly the winner. It is by far the cats. There is no question to be said. Yes, questions. Many questions. Uh, Richard Burridge is the uh, creator of this game, and uh, he was kind enough to send us the prototype, so we've been playing this. And uh, we'll give you a brief overview of what the game is. So the game is basically set up like this. You have your, as as is any, any deck builder, you have a set of starting cards you're going to start with. These are your, your standard cards. you got your gold in order to buy things, and you've got some beginning weapons and beginning skills. Uh, the idea here is you have you choose three, uh, three champions, and there are actually four decks. And the four decks is there's the warrior, barbarian, there's the thief, and there's the assassins. And we have him here on the table the assassins. There are I have the cats out, but they're they be, suck. Cats because suck. cats are the best. And there are also dog characters uh, for the assassins as well. You can choose to play as all cats, as all dogs, or a mixture of each and you basically choose the class you want to be and you take the starting deck each class also has an armory this is the armory deck which has other events and potions and weapons that you can purchase purchase value is down in the corner and of course as you draw gold on your hand you can spend it to purchase whatever is in your armory and you always have five cards open in your armory at all times so you can purchase what's open uh, and there's some special moves during play that if yeah. you don't like what's on table, you can take them all, put them underneath, and draw five new ones, and then shuffle your armory if you don't like what's out on the table. But uh, essentially, it is, it's a deck builder. It's, it's you, a deck builder um, and class builder, I guess, I suppose, as well. Like, you're building up your, your warriors that are on the table. Yeah, so when you buy, say I want to buy this, this two-paw weapon. Two-paw meaning, obviously, I can't. I can't have any other weapons in my paws because this is a two paw, but I put this with my character, with my active champion, which is the one in the front. These are your uh, support support characters. And so now when I attack, if I want to attack Tico's dogs, I can do so with three red dice. I have the one base dice, which is attack. So these are the red dice you would use to attack based on the number you have on your cards. And in order to defend, you would defend either with green, which is, which is defense. defense, or blue, which is speed, or basically stealth. Like yeah, a, dodge. Right? Yeah, dodge, you know, and, and how fast you can be. And as an assassin, uh, assa mostly assassin deals with speed. Yeah. Uh, so if I were to take the hooded cloak and put that on Sansa as well, I can now defend with three blue dice. I can attack with three blue dice. Three, uh, three red. Sorry, three red dice. Uh, and then the object is to basically get uh, hits onto the enemy. As you land hits, which is when you roll your, your die, yeah. you have to roll a four, five, or six. That's a hit. The defense is with either green or blue. If the defender rolls four, five, or six, yeah. that will cancel out a four, five, or six of a red die. But if you do take a hit, you just put a red marker on your character. And uh, the object is to get all of the champions off the board. Yeah. Five five hits on a champion that champion out is out of the game and a new champion will then come forward to take their place so a couple of interesting things in addition when you're rolling your attacks if you hit a six that's a critical hit that's right a critical hit means you also add a fatigue token which are the blue tokens here um, a blue token means that you are, your attack values when you're attacking that's is right. one less. So if you roll a six, it's only a five. The six becomes a five because I have a blue uh, fatigue token. Instead of attacking, you can choose to rest that turn, which would take off up to two fatigue tokens. Yep. If you don't have fatigue tokens, you can actually remove a hit token instead of two so you heal yourself, blue. Heal you can yourself. heal. There's a bunch of cards that also offer those options to heal and remove cards. So when your champion is defeated and the next one moves up and you have less than your opponent, your opponents actually get a plus one as sort of a, you know, a rallying cry sort of thing. Because right. you're behind, um, you actually get that 
You bonus get a bonus. Attack. So if, if Tico takes out Sansa, which he actually did while we were playing, Sansa was out of the game. One of these comes up. Jinji came up. Uh, I now get, actually get a plus one because I have less champions than, than Tico does. So when I'm rolling my attack or defense, I get a plus one. Right. Now, again, these rules, this artwork, the, the cards themselves, this can all change. This is the prototype. The Kickstarter is going on right now. You know, uh, click that link up there and you'll, you'll get an interview with uh, Richard about the game. We did an interview with him a couple yeah. weeks ago. So be sure to click that link up there in the corner to, uh, to view that interview. Um, Thoughts on the game overall, Tico? What What are your thoughts? Uh, it took us a while to play. Like it's it's yeah. not a short game. Let me no, tell you no, that. It's not a quick. It's not a quick game. It does take some time. We went back and forth. We are both fantastic players and excellent rollers. Well, see, here's the thing. We would get like there was times when I had four hits, you know, four hits on me, maybe a, a, a fatigue, and then I would get a card to be able to heal myself, so I would heal up, yeah. or I would then rest and take that off. So there's a lot of back and forth. It's a back and forth. You, it may look like you're losing, but there's also ways of getting that healing in. It does balance, and it, yeah. yeah, you're not firing through your three champions super quick. Um, we went through quite a while before even the first champion fell. Yeah. Um, it's it's really interesting. The a couple of things I really like is part of the deck building aspect um, allows you to actually mess with your opponent's deck so you each each player has their own their own armory. set yeah like armory. most most deck builders you have a general armory i'm gonna right. call it armory or purchase cards that everybody can purchase but in this case you can only actually purchase from your own armory it's a set deck for your class unless you have special cards in there that will allow you to mess with the other person's right. deck so there's a potion that allows you to clog your opponent's deck so you right. put, you get to put a card into their discard pile which is basically just a flat card so when they're drawing up their hand they've got one less useful card right right so there's definitely ways of, of the take that mechanic yeah. against your opponent uh it all comes down to basically you know back and forth attack defense when you do attack uh your opponent they get a chance to retaliate yeah. same turn so well, you can do damage to them they can also do damage yeah, to you i think that was one of the things that early on we're like well why why are we attacking it it's not attack it's you're initiating combat you're initiating combat and you'll, you'll each roll a blue um speed die to see who's yeah. who's actually the attacker the aggressor so first. you roll i and we both roll so we uh if i was a, if i started we both rolled a three so if I initiated combat, I would actually go first. But if you had rolled a five, then I would go even first. though I initiated combat, yeah. you then get a chance to attack first. Right, and then the other player has the option to retaliate. To retaliate. And you would, you, why wouldn't you? Why because wouldn't you retaliate? There's no downside yeah. that I found to retaliating. You're just going to, to hope that you're going to, even if you have yeah. hardly any dice, you're still going to retaliate. It is a slow burn game. Uh, it's going to take time to get the cards out. You really have to manage your armory, use the abilities of your, of your, um, your champion, like getting rid of cards. If you, if there's none of the cards on here that you like, get rid of them. Uh, use the, instead of attacking or initiating attack, get rid of your armory, bring out yeah. more cards, get that armor out, start putting armor on your character so that you have more dice to roll with more dice to defend yourself with and it's kind of that uh that sort of merge of a deck builder plus like a munchkin yeah you know and i really like that but it is a slow burn it's you're not going to go through this game fast we spent about 40 45 minutes and that was only getting rid of one, one champion, champion. Which so it is a long burn game. Uh, I really really enjoyed it. There, you know, again prototype, but there's a couple little things that we thought might improve. I find the text on the card a little bit difficult to read sometimes. It's sort of a white on a yellow with black border, all capitals. I think it might look my personal preference. Yeah. Make it just black text, uh, not all capitals would That's... help. Maybe some artwork on like event cards. That's just little nitpicky stuff. It, it's, one, it doesn't one take away from big, the gameplay. One big nitpicky thing for me is they they missed the opportunity to make several cat puns. Oh, on some of these cards, there is there's a katana in here, and they just called the katana not a cat. A cat Anna, right? Like there's so many. The other puns the, that we could have gone. With. The other thing we think would have been nicer. Uh, and again, it doesn't take away from no. the game. We're just saying this is little things that we think might improve. Uh, all of every character in the game, no matter what class you are, they are all identical. No, I don't want dogs on top. <laughs> um, you'll see that uh, they all have one of each dice. That's their, their base. Yeah. Different character, different artwork. But the critical target gains one fatigue token. Target gains one fatigue token. Every single character in the game 
is identical. So I, I would have liked to see, if I'm choosing the assassins, which the green is, I would have liked to see that each character has sort of a unique ability. Yeah. So yeah, I really like this ability. I'm going to play this character and I'm yeah. going to put him out as the, the main champion right now because right. I really like that ability. Yeah, like, you know, you have, you know, you want to play your favorites. You want to play Bijou, you want Bijou to, to be out there front. There's got to be a reason why. Right. Right. There's some, some sort of a, a, just a quick mechanic, you know, an extra attack, an extra thing once per turn, once per whatever, yeah. just to differentiate the, the starting champions Agreed. a little bit from each other. Yeah. That, uh, that is Tales of Conflict. That is on Kickstarter right now. So be, be sure to go to uh, the lighting in here is terrible. I apologize. Uh, Tales of Conflict, Richard Burridge, the creator. Uh, again, check out the interview we did with him. Uh, check it out on Kickstarter right now. It is a fun game. If you like deck builders, if you like games like Munchkin with that, you know, building up your character with more attack power, more defense. This is the combination of both. Uh, I think it's a really nice balance with that uh, attack mechanic, building up your character plus a deck builder. Uh, it's a really great balance between those. It's very, it is definitely, it's cute uh, artwork and all, but don't let that take away from the quality of the game itself. It is a fun game. Yeah, absolutely. Check it out on Kickstarter now. And of course, don't forget to subscribe right down, down below. At the bottom. Click that button. If you do like what we're doing here, check out those videos over there beside Tico. There's one is up that there. Where you keep them? And that's where I keep them. They're all over there. Check out those videos, subscribe down below. 